What's up guys? I hope you're doing good. Since a long time I've been getting these questions on almost every video that when will be the next express entry all program draw will be conducted. Now I don't have a fair answer to this but yes we can talk about it a little in this video so you set your expectations right. So in the short video we'll be discussing about that and also the processing times after COVID-19. What are the current processing times? So all those people who have submitted their PR applications, they might be wondering that how much time will it actually take? So RCC has released the updated processing times and of course it is more than what we usually expect, six months. So we'll discuss about that as well. If you're interested, stay tuned. Okay guys, starting with the big question, when the next all program draws would be conducted? Thousands of people who have created their express entry profiles and who are not in Canada, haven't got the Canadian work experience or provincial nomination, wait eagerly every alternate week to see that the express entry draw that Canada has conducted is an all program draw or not. And all of those people have only been disappointed in the past 100 days or so. The last all program express entry draw was conducted on December 23rd, 2020 and it's been more than 100 days and we are still waiting. So will Canada conduct the all program draws in the upcoming weeks can be expected in the months of uh, April or maybe in the early weeks of May. I don't think that Canada would be conducting the all program draws in the next one month or so. I badly want that my prediction actually goes wrong. I am also one of those people who actually came to Canada through the FSW, through the all program draws. But I know the situation in Canada is not good at the moment. The major provinces like Ontario, Quebec, Alberta have gone in lockdowns once again. If you're not aware, just a couple of months ago, we were in the second wave of COVID-19 and now we are in the third wave. So after the second wave, things started to open slowly, but as soon as, you know, everything started opening, the third wave hit and we are now in the third wave. And of course, all of the lockdowns have started once again. Ontario has announced its stay at home order for next four weeks, at least, of course, which is just below the curfew. And in Quebec, you would see that they are again into the 8 p.m. Uh, to 5 a.m. curfew. So they're back into the night curfew once again. And similarly in Alberta as well, the restrictions have been made tougher once again. Now, of course, it was never said officially that COVID-19 restrictions were directly responsible for uh, the all program draws not being conducted. But yes, we can assume so because uh, when it started back in March 2020, just a couple of weeks after that, they actually stopped doing the all program draws and they started doing the PNP and CEC alternate draws. And then we saw that one situation got better here in Canada. In the month of July and August, they started doing uh, the all program draws once again. Similarly, in the months of October, November and December, we stepped into the second wave of COVID-19. RCC did conduct the all program draws um, in the months of November and December, but I can say that that might be just to reach their annual target. Now, as soon as their annual target for 2020 got completed, they stopped doing the all program draws and once again stepped into the same old pattern of PNP and CEC specific draws. So just to give you a prediction of uh, when the next express entry all program draws might be conducted, I feel that it might be conducted somewhere in June because, because in April or May we would definitely be seeing tougher restrictions. Yes, it might be a case that towards the end of May we might see an all program draw if things get better here in Canada. And trust me, I don't want my prediction to be true. I want my prediction to be wrong so that all program draws are conducted and people start getting happy once again. All of those people who are waiting for the express entry draws. Uh, have been waiting for really long and their wait finally gets over. Okay, now talking about those people who have already submitted their applications, they got the ITAs, they submitted it and now they're just waiting for uh, the golden mail. Now, just to let you know that, of course, you would expect that due to COVID-19, there would be delays, but the delays are a lot more than what we would have expected. Earlier, the processing times were for six months uh, for CEC and for FSW as well. But now the processing time seems to have increased to around 10 months. 
So this is something official. ICC has confirmed that as of April 6th, they are working on the applications that they received between May 24th and May 30th. And that is for the Canadian Experience Class applications. So here they have specified that only about the Canadian Experience Class applications. They haven't given the details about the FSW applications. We can expect that it would be around the same time as well. So yes, you can say that because of the restrictions, the current processing times have been increased from 6 months to 10 months and this is a page that they now update regularly so if you want to get the update after one month you can go onto this page i'll provide a link in the description box below if you submit your application let's say in the month of july you can expect that they would start working it in around months time or one and a half months time but to get the exact idea you can go onto this web page and check out the processing times that's it guys this was a short video Many of you have been asking these questions in multiple uh, videos in Facebook groups. I thought of talking about it so that you can get more clarity on the current situation here in Canada. If you want to get regular updates, do not forget to click the subscribe button. Please put your comment down in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching this video.